How's it going, everyone? I'm back, more Rayman Legends, and today, first off, we're gonna be doing a level that I actually forgot to do last time. We're gonna be rescuing another princess, and then we're gonna be moving on to, uh, World 4. Sprint for your life! Instead of run for your life. So, like with every, uh, princess level, it's the same one as the, the it's the same basic level gimmick as the princess before in the same world. Just a little harder. That's the case with every second princess in the world. That. Ah, platforms falling. Platforms are floating. Cages are flying. Bones are flo Why is everything floating here? I, I don't understand! Alright, jump. Oh god! Alright, let's try that again. Once more, with hopefully not as much fail. Whoa! How did I not get crushed there? Uh. Alrighty. Long. Got the king. Bounce. Kick. Jump. Crush. And save the jester. I think it's a jester. And let's see how we did. Disco. And now we have gotten Selena. Mm. Okay, now that that's done, let's get out of here and move on to my absolute favorite world in the game, 2,000 Lums Under the Sea. And we're starting off with the mysterious inflatable island. Let's get going. And as it says, we're on a well inflatable island. And if we crush attack, we can bounce on it. And if we go up there, it releases a bunch of lumps. I'm gonna try and get all of these. Uh, I actually had a failed recording uh, a little earlier because I had a, there was a power surge, and I didn't get all of them. So I'm gonna try and like get, I didn't get all of them in all the purple ones. Dang it, I, I just messed up. Well, I already did bad. I, I did better than I did last time. I'm gonna try and get those last two when they pop back out. Okay. And now... We can dive in. So we got this ocean of all these fish. When I think of swimming in an ocean, I'm immediately reminded of Somatica. And it makes me just want to stop the recording and go and play it. <laughs> but not right now. Maybe later. Actually, I yes, later. Anyway, so we want to follow that chain that uh, is up. If I actually swim back up, it's connected to the inflatable island. So we want to follow this chain down, and we get to a secret cave here. And now we've got ourselves a bit of a stealth mission. That searchlight, if you get spotted, it will shoot a laser at you. So, um, don't get spotted. Uh, going up here. And whoa! There's a PT over there, I gotta go grab it. Alright, and I guess since we're just kind of swimming around here and there's not that much to talk about, I guess I could talk a bit about swimming. Because the swimming controls is pretty good in this game. That That's honestly all I gotta say about it, is that's pretty good. Anyway, we got the, 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 um, queen. And for this one, this one's actually pretty nice. You need to... 
use the eels as cover from the light so you can move on. Anyway, I guess since we are just swimming here, I guess I can talk about something else. It's the fact that I have a, a new, I guess, way of recording this and that I'm going to be recording these in bulk now. And I basically gonna be recording uh, every Friday. And I'm gonna record videos to last me until the next Friday, so I'm basically recording for a week. Getting enough recording to last me for a week. You probably don't care about that, but I felt like bringing it up because before, before now I've done them all one at a time and I, I just can't do that anymore because it's real life. Anyway, two skull coins right there, that's pretty handy. If you're trying to get the gold cups, which I am not. But I don't care about 100%. Anyway, is there something up here? No. Ow! Yeah, that's what happens with Spot. You you can get out, but it is fairly strict. Let's see, it's teensy. I can't. I actually can't talk about why I love this world so much until we get a little further into this level. Though I guess one of the big things about it is, yes, it is a water world, and as, it, it, as I mentioned in Kirby's Return to Dreamland, I love swimming. Doesn't matter what type of game it is, I love, if it has swimming, I am a fan. I like, I, I like swimming. It's fun. I'm pushing away in my chair by accident. Didn't mean to do that. So save that team team, move on. And the swimming actually does control pretty good in this game. It's very fluid, and it's pretty fast. So, yeah, swimming isn't too big of a problem in this game, and there's a secret passage here. And I guess now these guys, they shoot little, little electric balls that bounce off walls. Take my, take note of that, because they can, they're just as vulnerable to it as you. And that can get really, really chaotic if there's a couple of them. In here, there's a thing. I'm surprised these TNTs, and more important, and myself for that matter, Rayman, can stay underwater for this long. Especially, especially the TNTs case, because they're crying out for help. You'd think they would drown. Oh. Oh, God. Alright. You see what I mean about the laser. Anyway, so that! Try not to run in the cycle. Now, you see there, there's a little hatch. That is where we want to go, but it's closed, so we need to go up here. Actually, no. Is that not it? Oh, I'm thinking of another, another level. Alright, shoot, never mind. Sorry, Beth. Sorry. Uh, it's you! Alright. There we go down. Yeah, I just auto. Okay, sorry, I was thinking of another level. But anyway, now we have infiltrated a secret layer. And I guess we'll do one more level. <laughs> ah! Ah, it happened again. So now we move on to the Deadly Lights. And I believe, yes, the secret. So now it becomes very, a lot more stealth-like, even more so than the last level. As, like I said, well, we've been portrayed a secret layer of sorts. And we need to not get spotted. Yeah, 
And here you can see that the glass. The, the search like can swatch you through that. And now we have Murphy. Now he pushes. Now we can make him press buttons to cause platforms to appear, which can be used for well platforming and blocking searchlights, as you saw. One of these ropes, so you can save this TNT, and I'm pretty sure there's something under here. Yes, there's a skull point. And now... Yeah, I see. You gotta... Uh, tap when you get over it, so you gotta essentially have good timing there. Well, I missed one. And you can move pipes. Why did that one die? Oh, he hit himself with the electric ball. I think that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, like I said, the, it, those electric balls are just as dangerous to them as they are to you. So you can take advantage of it. I wouldn't be able to take advantage of it if he actually you know, faced me. Alright, so do that. Get under. Yep. Get that cage. Ah! Ah! And hit that button. And save that teensy. And I have a bit of a problem with uh, Murphy in this world. In that... He hovers over things you don't want him to hover over a lot. Because a lot of things that you have to make him do are so close together. There's one... Specific level in here that is that pain in the butt for that, even though this is my favorite world. But that that is one level out of uh, a bunch of ones that are incredibly enjoyable. So, meh. Nah. <laughs> uh, I love that roll attack. Okay. Do that. Make a turn it into a pendulum hammer. I'm dead. Oh, the poor guy. Ah, uh, he gets squashed. And then run along with it. There's nothing up there that there probably is. I don't remember. No, I, I can't even get up there. Alright. Sorry. Uh, no! God, I didn't mean to touch that. Uh, come on, Murphy. Over over that, please. Thank you. And if you're playing the Wii U version or the, the Vita version, actually, this will, this world will probably be a lot easier for you because you can kind of have Murphy go to wherever you want him to go. Uh, if you're playing PS4 like me, you may have some problems. Or PC. I think this game is actually on PC. Anyway, we're in an elevator. And we need to move it so that we don't get spotted by these searchlights while also fighting these guys! And not falling off the elevator like I did. Falling off is not recommended. Go in the door. I may, I, I may cut here. If I die again, I'm gonna cut. Cause I, I'm terrible at this part. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Find up. And uh, I, I guess I go rap 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 every time they land. Rap 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 rap. Oh, they jumped from the foreground! I forgot they did that. Hey, go! Alrighty. 
There we go. Now we got him. And that was the king, meaning I, I probably missed the queen. Oh well. Anyway, that. And hi there. You know what you gotta do here is you gotta squash him. No, no, wait, no, 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 no. I see you there, slow boy. Is there something up here? No. Alright. Now comes this part. Ready? I think that may be the end. Yeah, that's the end. Right? It's not gonna help me, but it made me feel better. And speed up. Alrighty, I think that's enough for now. So next time on Rayman Legends, we'll be rescuing another princess by the looks of it. And we'll be moving on through 2,000 lums under the sea. Yes, I know I have lucky tickets. I'm not bothering with all my videos. But until then, I'll catch you later.